Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Victoria 3 is Italy. Let us continue on for the last set off. We are losing 71,000 pounds. Don't like, don't, don't worry about that so much. I mean, I know it looks bad, but trust me, it's not going to be that bad forever. I think. <laughs> um, Expensive goods, steel expense, import. We don't have enough electricity. I don't think you can even import electricity. It is very expensive in the country. So I think what we want to do is we need to electrify the hell out of the country. Because how much do we need? We have 109. We need 819. So you know what? Instead of having every single... Um, instead of having every single part of Italy be electrified at the same time, because obviously that's not really working out so well for us, you experience will make us 22,000 pounds. Let's publicly trade you. Let's just have... We'll set you back to gas street lights. And then Campania, you can have electric street lights. Because you're the best part of the country and uh, you're the capital. It makes sense that maybe we want to spend a little bit more extra money on you. 71% staffed. 27% throughput caps at 30%. I mean, overall, I'm still. Decently happy with this. I don't know if we can do anything here. Free churches. Clerks will increase. Not too much else we can really do about you now. Is there anyone else we want to publicly trade? Yeah, publicly trade like everything. Everybody gets publicly traded. I don't know if we even have enough capitalists in the country to do this. We have Vatican City, by the way. 25 Prestige. Happy to have it. Railroads. Switch over to you. 119,000 pounds. <laughs> oh, it's so expensive. I mean, we have, to, what, 224 points here? Like, I understand that, you know, things are expensive. You want to restrict child labor? I mean, I've, I've, I'm not against that. It, it's The industrialists will hate it. What's its chance of actually passing? 35% chance to pass every 180 days. I mean, what people actually really want is voting. No, everyone it hates... The fact that we're still an absolute monarchy. We could just go straight to universal suffrage. The only people who say no to this are the landowners. They, they go from 8 to negative 12. They despise that. Well, any, well, I guess everything will uh, radicalize. You're opposed. But you know what? Italy. We just, we just got our bonus from 30 years of autocracy. Let's enact universal suffrage. I mean, everyone else will love this, right? The industrialists... The intelligentsia go from three to negative, or from three to twenty-three. The trade unions go from negative two to eighteen. They love this change. I mean, the landowners fucking hate it. They hate it. But everyone else, oh, they're right on board. Everyone, else, like most people, love the government. Okay, radicals have gone down a little bit. Loyalists have gone up a little bit due to our. Uh, Due to our change here. Okay, six weeks till you guys are done. More lead mines are on their way. I mean, how much money do we actually have in uh, six million pounds? Like, I understand that that is expensive. Also, uh, we are playing on a new patch. Actually, we've been playing on a new patch for a little while, actually. I forgot that um, you're negative 10% prestige on this. The intelligence of Tipu Zazi don't like it very much. But you know what? Actually, a 10% prestige penalty is not so bad. We're actually number three in the world behind the British and France. Only a little bit above the United States, but really not by too, too much. France is rich as hell, man. 200, they, like, they, how? We're the fifth largest economy. Which is not a huge surprise. Who's, who's above us? 
the British Raj. So, so China and India do a bigger GDP than both than uh, we do, but basically that's okay. Also, we got a play in Montenegro. I don't think we care about that even a little bit. And next year we can attack Austria again. How many units do they have? You were an 80 plus 115. They did get cut down the size. I don't really know what that does in Victoria 3. It, it was very devastating in um in Victoria 2. It, it's terrible. Okay, electricity. Wait, I want to look at these mar month uh, prices. Men of Wars have gone up a little bit. Sugar's gone down. Electricity's gone down in price. Happy to see that. Oh, all of a sudden we're now making a ton of cash. Uh, Amy, okay, we're, we're kind of like neutral on cash. Budget. We could get like another consumption tax. Porcelain, luxury furniture, 13k. Yeah, let's 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 tax um let's tax you. I mean, I'm kind of even thinking about like getting rid of the consumption tax on services. I mean, right now it's pretty cheap. We're the number four producer in the world. Audience want a trade agreement. Honestly, I'm kind of I'll take it. I so I see no reason really not to. Market access in Savoy is a little bit poor. If we were to just do road maintenance up here, we don't have enough authority for that. Well, let's just uh, remove you then. Road maintenance back up in Savoy. We need more convoys. Low government legitimacy. How bad is legitimacy? 29%. Well, can I bring anybody into the government that would boost this? We actually boost legitimacy by kicking out the armed forces. You boost it up by a little bit. Yes, let's... I mean, but it makes... We have way less loyalists. Do you know what? No. We'll, we'll, we'll just stick at low legitimacy for a little bit. If we can get um, universal suffrage... Just flat out, it's a plus 20 uh, legitimacy bonus. We can have our first election, and hopefully things will be going pretty well. All of a sudden, we're, like, making cash hand over fist. I don't even know what changed to swing that to such an extreme. Maybe it's because we now have electricity. Yes, we actually produce a, a lot of electricity. And if that's the case, electric fences will apparently produce 20,000 pounds. We'll switch you over. Locking camps, electric saws is 16,000 pounds bonus. Publicly trade is worth a little bit of money for us. So let's publicly trade everything. Yeah, put everything on the uh, on the stock market here. Well, everything I can. We can publicly trade you. Shipyards publicly trade you. Arms industry, munition plant. Can't do you quite yet. And now we'll actually apparently be making a ton of money by switching everything over to electricity. Right now we have 20. We're subsidizing you. Breach load artillery is finished. So now our military can improve. Sharp neural artillery for all of you. And I actually have to do it from the building tab. Again, it's a little strange that this is the most efficient way to do it, not the military tab. Oh, we got a little bonus here. I didn't even know we were doing it. We get limited power, which is throughput for five years. Bonus for steam turbine or shift work. Now, give me the throughput on electricity. Publicly trading. 75%. We need to research Zeppelins. That's going to take a little while for us to actually get to, though. In 84,000 pounds. Investment pool... Yeah, we're, we're just like... The investment pool is 14 million. And the investment pool, I'm pretty sure, is what's used first to um, produce buildings. I think. I mean, is there anything here we can actually really upgrade... Not really. Do we have any decisions available? We can survey the Suez. You cost us a thousand bioxy for two years. Which increases tax waste. So actually, what we need from this is we actually need more government administration. 
so that we could begin to maybe uh, survey the Suez. What are we? What are we building right now? Railroads. Arms industry, make sure you're on breach loaders, please. Munition plant can't do anything with you right now. But government administration apparently is quite poor. So it's alt to send you to the top. So we'll do alt on you. Throw some on here, throw one here. Yeah, so let's build more government administration. Why does this cost us money? Does it depend on, like, what... Wait, does, does different buildings require different goods? Because when we're building our railroads... Because now we're losing, you know... Consumption tax. Oh, you know, you know the thing is that we're not getting um, investment pool transfer anymore. Which is now all going towards the investment pool. Okay, so we get the investment pool. So money comes into our pocket from the investment pool. I'm guessing when we're building... Wait, let me, okay, let me just read this. For some dividends, collect by pops with ownership shares to deposit into the investment pool. Where it becomes available for construct buildings... To construct buildings, the country's current economic law permits to be built with these funds. Okay, so actually, what can we build then with the investment pool? Right now, we're on interventional list. Investment pool can be used to build agriculture, plantation, ranch, and manufacturing mines for basically everything. Laissez faire reduces what we can actually use for that. Unlocks multiple new production methods. Can, can subsidize. Subsidies are mandated. I mean, interventionalist is usually... It seems pretty good. I mean, that was the same with... um. Oh, Poland. Wait, Poland exists. The Polish uprising. I'm assuming they're at war with... um, Yeah, with Prussia. Like, what? what's, what's Prussia and, and Russia at war with? Like, they're at war with each other. This is for Russian war reparations. That'll all go towards Frankfurt. Frankfurt's going to be a fucking billionaire if that actually ends up going through. Because Frankfurt's going to be getting, like, all of... What the hell, man? What the hell? Okay, we enacted trade routes. We're not using the die anymore. Trade you with France. Fish? Trade you with France as well. And trade you with Switzerland. Again, we need more convoys. We'll get the convoys. Was it was it Ganty Train? I think so, right? Yes. That'll give me basically 5,000 more uh, convoys without having to actually spend the money to uh, build them. Okay, we've unlocked better fertilizer. We farm use fertilizer, please and thank you. When do you upgrade? You up you upgrade with pump jacks. Okay. Roof fertilizers. Public can trade you as well. Condition plant can't do anything with you quite yet. And I mean the rest of you seem like you're having a pretty good time. Prush Revolutionary Poland. Not a huge surprise that Prush was able to defeat the Polish Uprising. Now we're at seven. Okay, now we actually have a lot more bureaucracy here. So what we're going to do is journal. Let's uh, floor you. We have a 7% tax waste. I'm going to fix that by again just building more government administration. Build them in Campania. Build a little bit in Amelia. Next up, Floating Harbor is a port level upgrade. We could get steam ships. War exhaustion casualties. I mean, that actually could be nice. Open Hearth Furnace. Dynamite. Resource Discovery Chance. 
Well, steam turbine. Six years of research, probably a bit much. 10% more authority. Yeah, let, let's finish you up. We, we were uh, getting you before. And the Suez survey. This will take 30 months. And maybe we'll be able to fill the Suez Canal. If Egypt will allow me, it, they'll be so generous as to allow me to uh, explore there. Also, now that we've upgraded our ports, switch you all over to industrial harbors. That should give me immediately enough convoys. We don't have enough steamers for this. You know what? Fair enough. Can I wait? Can I build steamers yet? No, because we actually need to build ironclads. Okay. Uh, immediately, let's switch back to ironclads. Sixteen months. Does anybody make ironclads? Britain, France, and the United States. But you're not you're definitely not gonna give me enough for this, right? We need 185. We need 185, we have 147. Okay, so this okay, the price is gonna be going down on this. Very nice. How is electricity doing, by the way? When it comes to uh price. Details. Electricity. E for electricity. We do need a little bit more, but it's not so, so bad. We can actually, we can make up number one producer very quickly, I think. Steel's expensive. We'll import that from Russia. And again, you guys up there, you're still in turmoil. Why? Why are you still in turmoil? Also, can we colonize any more? Colonize here, colonize here. Yes, and again, I know the government has not a ton of legitimacy. It's actually going down over and over and over. Like I can kick you out for a seven, but it makes everybody pissed off. If we can, if we can change the government during an election, that is free. We don't actually need to pay a penalty for that. So that's what I would prefer to do. But I also think that at least for right now, it's going to be a good time for us to end this episode. So thanks everybody for watching. My name is If you enjoyed, put a thumbs down or thumbs up. If you did enjoy, you can always thumbs down. If you want to see more, subscribe and goodbye.